Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Mike with SmartOptionTrain.com. It's Tuesday, the 13th of July, and this is our daily recap. I'm going to put this out there for free today. So if you're interested in joining us, please look at the link in the description below, SmartOptionTrain.com. We use Discord for chat. We have Zoom for video and voice, and we have private Twitter feed. All the options flow, news, trades, everything you can want, charting, we do it all there on those places. Okay, let's jump into what's going on here today. It's been a very, very tough sloppy day here in the markets. What do I mean by that? Well, let's just start off with um, the SPY and we'll go to a five minute on the Qs. We were coming along pretty flat today when the CPI number came in. CPI, an inflationary number, came in hot. Expecting 0.4% came in at 0.9. We dumped. Okay. Qs should have been hit the hardest. They were. What then happened was is they came screaming in for the market and they ran the Qs back to an all-time high. They ran the SPY back to an all-time high, all the way up here, looking great. Then up in here, the only news we had was a bond auction. And, you know, the bond auction did not appear to go well. It wasn't well received. And we dumped on that as the 10-year Treasury spiked a little bit. And here we are now, lows of the day on the SPY, still trying to hold the low of the day on the Q, but overall a pretty messy day. When you look at daily candles on the SPY, you got a reversal candle here, though a small one, right? And I, and I want to put that in perspective. It's a small one. You have a hammer down, though, right? We haven't yet en engulfed yesterday's candle, but it's an ugly little candle. We're still above the eight day. On the cues, still trying to hold up here a little bit. You got a more of a shooting star type of candle here, but holding in. The IWM continues to be, uh, you know, the redheaded stepsister that nobody wants anything to do with here rolling over. We really want the IWM to get back involved in this market. The fact that it can is a little bit concerning. So what was the action today? Well, we had earnings on JP Morgan. JP Morgan put a doji in. It actually bounced back rather nicely here. Same thing with Goldman Sachs. Nothing was wrong with the earnings on either one of them. I want to be the first to say that. I thought they were both great earnings reports. They were good. People are concerned over rates. Okay. By the way, guys, in the room doing this live, MOC is around 527 million to sell early with 30 minutes to go, All right? So nothing wrong. We got more banks tomorrow. We'll see how they go. Pepsi reported a blowout quarter. What really happened here today though was right after they did, and you can see the board, is they came after the same names again. What names? Microsoft had a huge day to new all-time highs, 280, 285, holding it okay. Amazon put a new all-time high in, but what a wicked candle we're developing here, okay? Wicked, right? Why is it wicked? Well, because we are putting in a bearish reversal candle. We have engulfed the previous two days of action. Not a good candle here. Certainly something to be a little concerned about. Google put an all-time high in, holding in okay. Apple put a new all-time high in, holding okay. But this was the gist of it. They went after these same couple names they've been hiding in for a while now. And you know, overall, when we look at market breadth today, we're sitting here down at the lows at negative 1600 advanced versus decliners. It's very, very nasty. And there's something to keep in mind. What else to keep your eyes on today? We had some wicked put buying on the indexes. Now, it is op options expiration this week. What that does mean is a lot of these are rolling out. They're buying time. But one of the things I noticed throughout the day is we kept getting big put dollar-wise sweepers, not just one. They come in over and over again on the indexes and big dollars with time. The latest one we just saw was the December 31st, 392 puts, almost $10 million worth of them came in in three or four sweeps. That's aggressive, right? They're, they're putting some money out there. Where this market goes from here, guys, I don't know. Right now, we're getting very narrow again. We've been talking for a week and a half that this market needs to broaden out, and we need to see that. We need to see it just not play in the same couple of fang names to hold this market up, and hopefully that will happen shortly. Update my positions today. I dumped my DraftKings for a loss pre-market. Why? Because I made a bad trade on Friday. I held it yesterday. And actually, I was able to get out better than I thought I would this morning up here around 3.30 for, you know, 49.30 for a nice loss. After that, I did nothing. Why didn't I trade much today? Well, honest answer, I didn't want to chase Apple, and it never gave me the pullback I wanted to, and I wasn't paying attention when it did. Same thing with Microsoft. And I caught Carve for a little bit of a win today to put some money in my pocket. But overall, I did not do a lot today, but I'm also safe and out of harm's way. 
we have earnings from banks tomorrow morning. We have Delta Airlines tomorrow morning. We have Powell speaking tomorrow at noon. Everybody hold on for that one. And then, then we have options expiration for the month, but more earnings going into Friday. So we you know expect a bumpy ride here over the next couple of days until we start getting a better idea what this market wants to do. It's a good time to pay attention to what's going on, lighten up again, make sure you have a hedge in place until we get a better clue where this market wants to go. Hope you're doing well. This is Mike with smartoptiontrading.com. I'll catch you guys in the room bright and early in the morning.